it's the RV guy here bringing you another fantastic Class C. Guys, this is an 0731M by Fleetwood. Fleetwood that invented the Class C. In 1923, the Fleetwood family started building motorhomes on the Ford Model T chassis. They're bringing that 90 years of experience and making some incredible guys. The Jamboree and the Tioga series have outsold any other manufacturer by massive amounts over the last 20 years. Number one to retail customers, number one to banks and various rental shops and any other business that buys RVs for their people to stay in, guys, because they're so low maintenance. You don't have to worry about it. They give you all the little touches like an Onan 4000 micro quiet generator. That thing just is so quiet. It only runs at 1800 RPM. Incredibly reliable. The fiberglass, oh, is laminated fiberglass. That means this fiberglass isn't just glued onto wood. A lot of the cheaper manufacturers have their fiberglass Class E's, but that in 10 years, the glue starts coming apart and you start seeing the fiberglass start to look wavy like you see on the old ones. You don't have to risk that. If you have a solid construction like this, it's four times stronger than the hung walls. It's also going to protect your coach against leaks because it doesn't flex nearly as much. It also gives you the ability to have these huge windows that are absolutely massive. They open up for some great ventilation, some great breeze action. Safety glass. That'll deflect if the kids are throwing rocks around at the campground. Hits your window, it's not going to just crack and shatter. That's going to be able to deflect that rock. And guys, UV tint is going to make it so that it doesn't eat apart the inside of your, your interior with the sun's rays coming in. It's just like you're putting sunscreen on. Really, really classy stuff. The outside storage on this, huge. In addition to having all your tank dumps and all of your city water connects in your outside shower, very easily, safely stowed away so you don't have a bunch of cords and cables all through the side of your coach like most of them. It's all just, you shut that door and it's out of sight, out of mind. Plus, you don't have your sewage dump on the bottom like you get on most of them, just waiting for a stray rock or something to just catch it and rip it right off. Ah, uh, yes, even more storage. And that's easy to clean storage. Notice it's not carpeted with a cheapo carpet. That cheapo carpet, it gets stains up. It starts stinking. It starts really reeking. Look at how big this slide out is. It really comes out giving you tons of space. And it looks real nice when it's in. You got the slide out topper as well. You don't got to worry about debris getting in your slide out. Maybe close it with a pine cone up there. It can break. No worries, because that's going to protect it on this guy. In addition to that, you got huge additional storage that's so deep, so big. And guys, you can clean that out just with a hose. You don't got to worry about getting in there and scrubbing it. And this is on your war course chassis with the Vortec engine. One of the most tested engine chassis platforms of all time. And the front end. Guys, this is a solid front fiberglass cap. Now, a lot of them have fiberglass fronts. But what that means is that this seam that comes up here continues all the way around and up. In this one, you don't have that seam. This solid piece of fiberglass is just like a solid bathtub or anything else that's molded to the shape. You don't have to worry about that being leak city up there like on the other guys. Another large slide out that you got in the bedroom that goes right out of the way when you're going down the road. Again, a nice slide out top for protecting you so you don't got to worry about any issues. Of course, you got the nice walk on roof, so you got the ladder up there that comes up. In addition to having the back window actually be able to open up. Guys, 9 out of 10 of these Class C's will give you a back window, but it won't open up to allow the breeze to come in. What's the point of a window if you're just like a fishbowl and you can't open it up? And of course, more storage space. They know that if you have a family that's coming with you, you've got to be able to take a ton of stuff with you. You can put a whole football team's worth of gear in the storage space in this thing. And I'm not just saying that. Look, every single compartment that I open up is deep, usable, cavernous storage space. And of course, this, guys, Think about it, Fleetwood built more than anybody of these things they have over time. So don't you think that with more practice, they found more of the little issues, more of the little ways than some manufacturer that built 500, 600 a year. These guys really have all the kinks ironed out. Their employees have been doing it day in, day out for decades, decades, and decades. They have the experience to really make a quality product. In addition to giving you even more storage. Guys, I, I feel like I keep repeating myself. More storage, more storage, more storage. It's like a broken record. Let's take a look at the inside. You have so much room inside your 31M, even with the slide outs in. People are always asking me, hey, is it really usable even with the slide outs in? I want to show you. E look at this. This is the slide out in, and you still have all this space. The dining area is still very, very usable. And of course, they give you little things like actually having a cup holder area for the kids to be able to put their big gulp when they're going down the road. 
actual real wood cabinets. You're not talking about just having the plywood base that they have in there for most of them. That means that this is going to be able to ah, stand the test of time. You can't just easily beat it up. This turns into a nice sleeper, of course. This just comes down and goes in between, and they come together. This also can be taken out and put in front of the couch with a slide out out. It makes it so you have some versatility in where you're sitting. And of course, ah, the couch is very comfortable and usable. In addition to turning into a nice large sleeper, you have more real wood, solid wood. That'll take a licking and keep on ticking storage. Guys, that's also deep and usable. It's not just veneer storage like a lot of them are giving you. And up here, the slider bunk not only has a large queen size sleeper area that you can put two adults in, but it also has nice netting back there. And look at how much headroom I have when I just push the slider bunk back out of the way. It makes it so that all this cab space is opened up and accessible. You also have storage area up here, their own little cubby, for them to be able to put their cell phones, their keys, all sorts of usable stuff. And the two side windows open up giving you nice ventilation so that at nighttime they can open up those windows and have some good airflow. You also have a privacy curtain that you can pull across. And guys, huge vent fan that is massive. It's not one of those little silver dollar ones, so that they can really get some nice airflow in there at nighttime. Now take a look at the actual cab area. This is one of the most tested platforms and chassis period in the world. All the controls are real large and easy. You got the AC control here, the radio, cup holders, everything you would possibly want in a long trip. This is going to be comfortable and allow you to do it. Plenty of room for your actual kitchen space, not only for food storage, but for food preparation as well. You got the corner kitchen, which is nice. Another pull-out surface right here to give you even more counter space if you do need it. And again, real wood, not particle board feel like you're going to get on most of them. That's actual usable space. This is even adjustable, so if I want to put like a cereal box in there, no problem at all. You got a six cubic foot Dometic refrigerator freezer ready to get your kids. Put your food in there, and you don't have to worry about stopping at every McDonald's in order to get a meal, because you can bring it with you. An actual metal sink, not a plastic sink. There's a reason they don't have plastic sinks in houses. Same reason it's not a good idea in your RV. And an oven, in addition to a microwave, you don't got to sacrifice one just to get a convection oven. Guys, that convection microwave is great, but if you can only cook one thing at a time, it's really going to limit your options. Not in your 31M. And huge storage space. Everywhere that you look, you got space here. You got the real pull-out drawers on real residential ball bearing glides. It's not just a piece of wood that's sitting inside of there. And guys, if you come into the hallway, look at these humongous windows. They give you all sorts of fantastic view. Well, the view might not be so fantastic where we are right now, but where you are, you're going to be able to look out and see the kids playing at the lake. It's going to be absolutely amazing. RVP, which is one of the best AC units you can possibly have. Look at how big your actual bathroom area is. This is full Jack and Jill access. So I can appear over here, hey, what's going on, guys? And you actually have storage space everywhere that you look. In addition to having counter space, floor space for your feet, and a huge, very, very nicely done actual shower area for you to get clean. The bedroom on this is actually on a slide, so your bed has lots of space when it's opened up. This is with a slide out in, so you can see it's still very, very accessible and usable. The bed's nice and large, in addition to having real wood storage that goes all the way back there, guys, and huge, actual, real deep, usable space there for you to have for your clothing and stuff. And of course, you got a nice dresser drawers underneath there. The, that's very accessible when the slide out is out, but when the slide out is in, you can't quite get to it, but that's okay because you got all the space in the world throughout this thing. Hey, Mitch the RV guy here, if you're taking a look at Class C's, take a look at the ones that we have some incredible values on them. Give me a call, tell me what you're looking for, I would love to help you out. Hey, Mitch the RV guy here, hoping to hear from you real soon.